Hi everyone, this is Itlali with the Mexican Movement, and I just wanted to give a brief uh, summary of a great documentary that I just watched called No Mas Bebes. Um, I believe it just came out this year. It's going to be coming out on PBS, hopefully pretty soon. And basically, it's a documentary following the story of a case, uh, a lawsuit that was filed in the late 70s by a group of 10 women who had the courage to join and lend their voices and their experiences to expose what was going on at the USC hospital. And the documentary pretty much outlines how this practice of sterilization obviously has been happening since the invasion, but it pretty much outlines that it's happened in 12 to 13 states known. And the women that came forward uh, spoke out against it. Uh, the lawyer was Valeria Hernandez, a uh, Nicantlaca woman from East LA, who had gotten her law degree and went out to represent them. The whole documentary is basically the story of these women, of the women that actually chose to speak out. And it's sad because at the end, you know, we learned that they lost the case. But because of this case, what led this led to the requirement of bilingual consent forms and also or you know forms in the language of the patient and also having providing them with interpreters or translators at the sessions at these clinics or hospitals so what was going on was that these women were going in to give childbirth and you know as they were there laying in bed you know before giving delivery they were harassed they were pressured into signing documents about sterilization which allowed the doctors to you know after they had a child to go in in there and cut their tubes and you know the document it gets it gets into a lot of the medical terms but basically they were going in there and they were getting operated basically their tubes were getting um cut and so these women didn't know what was going on the lawyer took it on she started investigating into it and yeah there was a pattern of this practice being done and yeah so because of that that's why we have uh, bilingual or you know consent forms available in, our, in the language of the patient and so what this what this exposes obviously it's that right that racism against our people and although the lawyer talks about it being about poor people you know what we're looking at here is a specific case of, against Mexican Nicantlaca women Central American women the majority of the women that came out on the film were actually Nicantlaca or so called uh, Chicana Mexicana and you see these examples and then you kind of put the historical context to this and we're seeing that we as Nicantleca women were constantly under attack. Our bodies are under attack. Our uterus is under attack. You know, so our whole presence is under attack. And I think the film really exposes that type of white supremacy, that type of racism that was common, you know, was common. It was common on, t on TV, the politics, much like today, where we have this scare of the immigrant group that's outnumbering whites, which is happening um, either way. So it really shows you that we haven't come a long way. And if anything, these experiences are euphemized. These experiences are so common that they're not common. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so hard to expose them. But looking at this and looking at the last 500 years, we see this as a continuation of genocide. Raphael Lemkin, the man who coined the term genocide, he talks about very heavily about sterilization and the, the stopping of the nation, the stopping of the reproduction of people for who they were, who they are. And that's what this is going on. They did not want to see any more brown babies. They were tired of seeing all these brown children in the hospitals and all these brown women coming in, you know, pregnant. And so the philosophy and the practice behind all this was white supremacy. It's we're getting outnumbered by these immigrants, by these Mexicans. What do we do? Oh, we have to force them to get sterile. Like, this is disgusting. And this film is a is an example of how genocide continues to this day. And as how we, Nicantleca women, our bodies are under attack. We are being attacked by the state. We're being attacked by this culture, by the standards of beauty, by all this colonial sexism. And then we have the bodies. Our bodies are under attack. We're not even seen as 
for people, you know, capable of deciding what to do with our bodies, that they have taken that power. In many cases, like this documentary exposes, we are robbed of the actual power to our own body and our own reproductive system. So that being said, you know, I just wanted to share that with you because it's a powerful documentary that I think everyone should watch. It's very well done, very thorough. It interviews a lot of key people. It gives you the samples, kind of the sound bites of what the the news were, were about. And it's it's amazing. It's amazing. And I think, again, we have to see this and um, think about it under white supremacy, under the system of colonialism, that these are recent attacks, that these are recent attacks that demonstrate the attack of the brown body, the attack of the Nicantlaca indigenous woman and her uterus. Like literally, they're trying to stop us from reproducing ourselves on our own continent. It is a fear of theirs. And, you know, we are reproducing. We are um, coming back. We are going to be the majority, but the very um, worrisome. It's very worrisome to know that we don't know who we are. So yeah, we're reproducing, we're having um, children, we're having beautiful families, but we really do need to decolonize. We really do need to start thinking about who we are as a people. We really do have to understand what historical context we are living in today. So anyway, that's my review of the film. Um, as you can imagine, the negative parts that I found to it were just the fact that the Latina, they say Latina, which we know they're talking about our people. And this is they're not talking about white Cubans going in there, white Cuban women or white Croya, Puerto Rican women. No, these are brown women. These are brown women. A lot of them did not know the English language. You know, they're coming in from Boyle Heights, Lincoln Heights. So, you know, this is, let's be real here. We're talking about indigenous women, Nicantlaca women. And this case of sterilization is a body stale, but this is, can also be said for our women in the reservations. This can also be said for our women um, in Mexico and all over. I mean, this case of sterilization is really a genocidal project. So check it out. The film should be coming out on PBS soon. I will share it on here as soon as it is. And for now, you can look at the previews on YouTube. Thanks for watching. That's been my review of Nomás Bebés.